Many birds make beautiful colors in their feathers by the interaction of light with these amazing bicontinuous materials. I'm Eric Dufresne. I'm a professor in materials science and engineering, as well as the Department of Physics. So literally a bicontinuous structure uh, looks like a sponge. The structures that we're making in the lab and the ones that have inspired us in bird feathers are like a sponge, but shrunken down to a tiny scale. Soft materials are really interesting because they're the main type of materials that nature has uh, utilized to make human beings. As engineers, we normally focus on stiffer types of materials like semiconductors and ceramics and metals. And so we don't know a lot about how uh, nature successfully uses these materials to make the robust devices that are us. So over the years, we first tried to figure out why these bicontinuous materials could make beautiful colors. And after we figured that out, we for much longer have been puzzled and inspired by the ability of the birds to make these crazy structures in the first place. And in bird feathers, it's more than just the structure of these bicontinuous materials that matters, but also compositions of the individual components. One important feature that they do is combine aspects of absorption of light as well as diffraction of light. With a very simple geometry, we demonstrated how this combination of both absorption and diffraction can create unique and vibrant colors. We look at living systems and try to understand how they work through the eyes of material science. From there, we take inspiration to try to develop new materials, synthetic materials that utilize the same design principles that have emerged in evolution.